Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. This one's a bit more uh, on the nose, it's kind of unscripted, I'm just going to wing it. But I'm going to show you how I make soundtracks and music in uh, Traction's waveform program, which I think is the best free DAW you can get. If you don't know what DAW is, it's Digital Audio Workstation. But anyways, we're going to start off with so we'll going to settings. Uh, when you open the program, it'll make you do to do a tutorial, go through all of these. But all we need to do is go to MIDI devices, create a new virtual input, QWERTY keyboard. Now, if you have an actual MIDI keyboard, you would use that here. But if you don't, you're just going to put in a keyboard or a QWERTY keyboard. Okay. Now we have a keyboard down here. Next is I'm going to show you about plugins. You're going to go to scanning and sorting. There should be some default ones here, VST plugins. There's a bunch of default folders. Now I added my desktop with a music plugin folder where I usually put all my things. And whenever you add a plugin, it'll automatically scan it and say, would you like to add this? You say yes. Cancel there. Now one thing to note is this program only lets you use 64-bit plugins. 32-bit will not work. There is a way to make them work, but we're not going to get into that here. That's going to be a whole other thing. Next is audio devices. You're going to say your output here and input here. Make sure that they are both the exact same sample rate. So I have speakers, Realtek, 48,000 hertz. If I wanted to use my input, it would have to be 48,000 hertz. Now this microphone I'm using here is in 44,000 hertz, but I could go to the... Uh, Windows control panel for sound and just go to properties and change that. Now we got all that out of the way. We don't need we don't really need to do any of all this. File location and all that. There's keyboard shortcuts, but I don't I don't use all these. There's like four that I use. You could look at these, but we're just gonna make a project. New project. Just call it tutorial. There's templates you can use, I just use default. and create a project, all right. It'll open this here. We're just gonna double click this tutorial. Here we go, this is the main thing. Now on the left side here, you see this big section here. This is for samples. I don't really use samples. They're sound bites you can uh, click and drag in here, but we're not gonna use them. Here, let me make a track here. Click the track. You click G to generate a track and a Z to zoom in on the track. This grayed out section here is where you click and add your MIDI keyboard. Boom. Now there's this little side keyboard here, but it's not convenient. You have to scroll up and down to get to the different notes. But if you go to, to the bottom left here, raise this. There's another keyboard here you can use. We're just gonna lock that in place so it's always there. One thing to keep note of, Let's say you click off somewhere, you're over here on the track, you just click this, and then you want to play the keyboard. Like what if I what if I click I? See, it's it's not it's not playing anything. You have to first click the keyboard at the bottom, and then you can play it. Right? We don't have any plugins, so no music's gonna come out. Now if you I use MIDI, I don't use samples. I just use my keyboard to play whatever plugins are available. So I don't need this on the left here. So if you want to get rid of this, just click off the keyboard and press B. It should disappear. Now I have a full workspace to work with. Now on the right here, this is standard gain. It's with every every track comes the standard. This is mute. I'm not sure what S is. Single out, solo the track. I never use that, I just mute. mute. Now we're gonna right click and add a new plugin. These are all the folders that it scans. Most of my stuff is on the desktop. Some stuff is in my standard VST plugin, the default folder that comes with this. Let's go to labs. Now I'm gonna have a link for labs down below because they are, in my experience, the best music library you can get for free. Let's open it up here. There's soft piano, we have it on right now. There's a whole array of instruments just in this one plugin you could use. Let's close this. Let's stay with uh, the piano. Now we should have some music down here. Yeah, you hear that? 
Now I'm gonna show a keyboard on screen that shows the keys you can use to make this, uh, to play this music with your PC keyboard. Now, this is in order of operations, right? So the labs is in front of the gain. You can put the labs in front of the gain, but it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna work much. So when you're putting in a plugin like a compressor, make sure it's in the proper order, like this. Let's add a new plugin. This is a really, really useful plugin. If you don't have a full-sized keyboard, you'd go to Waveform Plugins, go to Effects, and MIDI Modifier. Now let's say if you wanted to hit the low notes, let's go here, let's... You want to hit the low notes. This is our range right now, from there to there. Let's say you want to go lower. We would open up the MIDI modifier. Here it is. Now you could manually drag this higher and lower, or you can just click pitch. And I usually just go down one or two octaves. Let's go down one octave. Now our range has been changed to... You see how I click the keyboard first? Always click the keyboard first or you're going to mess up with shortcuts. This is now our range. Let's go down again. Click the keyboard and see the range now. It's very useful. Original pitch. Now let's record something quick. We're going to click here. This dot signifies that this is the track we want to record. If you don't have this clicked, it's not going to record anything. We can exit this, click the keyboard. Now, clicking R records. So let's just click R, play some random stuff. Okay, we recorded, press R. There we have our notes. We can play. back. Now these uh, have little shortcuts up here. This pencil tool lets you manually place notes, extend them if you click and hold. This eraser lets you erase notes. This line lets you draw a line on the track and make notes. I never really use the line. It's, who, would, who would want this? It sounds like garbage. There's a paintbrush. I think this mutes notes, yes. If you want to listen, if there's a certain note you don't like, you can manually mute it and un unmute it. I think this is velocity. No? It's not. Okay, this just plays. Yeah, let's just, you hover it over the note and click and it plays. Let me see how to... There's velocity. Okay, see this velocity thing here? If you hold shift on a note, and click up or down, it raises or lowers the velocity. So if you want one note to be softer than the other, that's how you do that. Now there's a little trick you can use here. At the top of the screen, you see this I and O. Let's say you're on a certain part of the track. Let's say we have like a giant song and you want to just focus on this one part. You would click I at the beginning and then go to the end and click O. Now the I and O have been stretched over this segment. We would go to loop down here. Now if we would click play, it would just loop this segment over and over. And it would do it again. Now make sure that you don't accidentally have loop on <laughs> when you're trying to record. It will not end well. And if you want to just make another track, G, Z. I always do GZ when I make a new track to zoom it in. We can unzoom that by pressing Z again. Now we have focus on this track here. If you want to extend this track, the first arrow, drag as far as you want. I'm pretty sure the second arrow just doesn't do anything to my knowledge. Doesn't go beyond this. If you want to actually extend it, use the hollow arrow. It's pretty simple. Okay, now let's see. We have a second track. Now let's bring up another instrument. We can bring up a flute. Let's open this up. This is the interface. Every plugin has an interface. This is a flute. 
Every plugin should have an interface where you can mess with the instrument itself. I like to bring the attack up so it doesn't have like instant. As soon as you press the button, the, the instrument's there full blast. It doesn't sound good. Yeah, that's a lot better. Maybe a little bit too much attack. That's better. It sounds more gradual, like someone's actually preparing and like blowing into the instrument. Now, let's say your track is done. It's all done. You would go down to export in the bottom left here. Render to a file. Now, I usually keep a normalize off, this off, this off, this off, dithering enabled. Yeah, this is all good. This is if you have silence at the beginning and end of a track, like if it just goes on, this will remove it. Now, if you want to render a specific segment, you would only render marked region. Like you would, uh, here, let me see here. Like the I and O thing, you would loop. And it should just render that segment. That's pretty much it. It's it's not that complicated. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys have tons of fun with your music creation. I will link the labs down below, this plugin here. To get you started. This has like anything you might need to get started. And uh, besides that, there's a, a whole ton of different plugin places you can go, like Plugin Boutique. I used a lot. Nope, I don't think I forgot anything. All right, I'm going to end it here. If I forgot something, maybe I'll add it in post. Maybe you guys can remind me. But that's usually just how I make music with MIDI tracks and a keyboard. Pretty easy. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully it helped you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Till next time.